G'day, Sambo here. It is Friday, 18th of August 2017, uh, about 5 pm, a little bit before. As you can see, the sun's just about down. Spring is just around the corner. Next Friday, there we go, look at that. Stupid bloody roo, can't figure out. All it needs to do is that. There's another one. They can easily go over it. Anyway, as I was saying, this time next week it'll be spring. The bees, I'll talk about them tomorrow. Right now, I'm just going to have a quick chat about the solar. As you can see, completely shaded out. Now, as my subscribers know, this is my weekender. And one day it'll be my forever home. So during the week I'm not here. So I just want to get this without the flash showing up. The charge controls on float just. So we'll run through this. 26 point so let's say three volts. I only get noted on what's coming in off of that two kilowatt array. 0 0.7 kilowatt hours, 28 amp hours. So that's what it's taken to replace the electricity that the inverter and the fridge and a few small vampire loads such as plug packs have used overnight and during the day today. That's my 300, 24 volt 375 amp hour battery bank. The 2 kilowatt array has only put 28 amp hours into it. So I'm only using this 2 kilowatts of this array, these 8 panels here. And the reason the charge controller was only put 28 amp hours into the battery bank is because it's only used, it's probably used less than that. So the, the fridge, the inverter, the vampire loads. But some of that involved is overcoming the resistance of the batteries. They always take more than what they give out. But anyway, enough of that. Now when I check these highs, I did a walk by last week. There's activity in all of them. But I'm not expecting to see a lot today with this rain. I've been feeding the bees because early spring for me is the danger period. As the weather warms up, the bees become more active. They start consuming more food, more than what's actually available. So I'm going to leave the bees for another couple of weeks before I do any inspections. Might even be three weeks. Depends what else I've got going on. I might have to kill some sheep in a couple of weeks. Tomorrow, I'll talk a bit more about the bees. Talk about the firewood situation. And might be a couple of other things. I'll go check out the apples tomorrow to see how well they're budding up. So this is two hives I've got here at mum and dad's place. It's a six frame polystyrene nuke. Eight frame wooden hive. See a little bit of activity there in the polystyrene nuke. Not seeing anything in the wooden hive. I did have another poly nuke over there. But I checked a couple of weeks ago and that was a dead out, which was no real surprise. That was a weak late season split anyway. We've got 14 hives down at the shack, they all seem to be doing alright. Now the bit of activity in that polystyrene nuke and nothing there on the wooden hive, that might just be a dead out too. Nope. We've still got bees there, but still very weak. There's bees there. So we'll see how they go, they might just hang in. Alright, last week I put a bit of sugar syrup out for the bees. It's still some there, not a whole lot. A few dead bees there. Um, 
that was probably about half full when I put it out last week and it's practically empty now. Bit of rain coming through. Rain as good as being a dry winter. Well, it's a shitty day. It's a shitty day for solar. It's a shitty day for doing anything other than staying inside where it's nice and warm. Still, it's not exactly cold because of the rain. I've only got two wheel drive. I'm not going to risk backing the ute into the yard to unload the firewood, so on the trolley it goes. That's today's job is to split that, get some of that inside. If I'm feeling energetic, I might even stack some firewood. Nothing from the apple trees yet, They're still budding up. No flowers. So, with this shitty weather, overcast, there's the sun. Let's go and have a look under the house and see what what the power situation is. So the charge control is in absorb mode at the moment, bringing in about 430 watts, which isn't bad for this sort of weather. 0.7 kilowatt hours generated so far today. It's about 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30. 27 amp hours. That's the same amount of power as was generated all day yesterday when it was fine weather. And why is that? It's because I used plenty of power last night. Uh, the daily usage when I'm not here, it's only about 7.5% of the battery capacity. When, I'm, when I am here, it gets up a little bit higher, up around 15-20%. So I'll come back this afternoon. We'll see what the power generation is like for the whole day. Well, I managed to get some wood split today. Some of it. But it's just a bit bloody tough. So stuff it, get to it with a chainsaw. At least then I have some decent sawdust to use in the smoker for the bees. So I'm still bringing in firewood quicker than what I'm using it. And it's building up slowly. Probably enough there to get me through next winter. Enough in that pile in it there anyway. That bit there, that'll definitely get me through what's left of winter and early spring. And I'll just keep, still keep on collecting firewood as I see it. So about two o'clock this afternoon, the weather started clearing up. There's the sun there. It's gonna go down behind those trees so they're basically the panels are completely shaded out now so it's what is it about four o'clock in the afternoon we'll get underneath have a look see what the power generation has been like for the day I used the uh, table saw for probably five or ten minutes I used the electric kettle for about five minutes just while I was heating heating some water to put a load on the system so I could see what how much I could draw from these panels. Other than that, computer's been going all day, satellite motor has been going all day, fridge has been going all day, ran the pump for about ten minutes just to fill up the header tank. And that's pretty much been it. Not a whole lot of usage. So, the charge controller is in float mode. You'll see there, float. Only getting 67 watts coming in off the panels because of the shade. I already mentioned that. Two point four kilowatt hours. Ninety amp hours. That's not bad, a little bit heavier usage because I was using the power tools, ran the pump for a while, but considering the weather I think I did it right, both in usage and power generation. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.